Hey, Jed, let, let's talk about this from your perspective, because your most recent piece that you wrote for The Hill was titled The Biden Tax Plan, Recipe for Recession. What is it that you think will be the biggest problem with his tax plan? Well, it's not only the tax plan, but it's the basic democratic thrust. You know, I have a great respect for Duvall. And if he were leading the party's economic policy, I'd feel a lot better. But it's not. It's being led by uh, an 80-something uh, socialist and a 20-something socialist. Uh, and their basic goal is to undermine the market economy. And the market economy drives productivity. It drives growth. The tax plan is a statement of that. It's a probably a $4 trillion tax increase not being used to reduce the debt or the deficit, being, but being spent. The spending policies of the, of the platform are about $8 trillion. And you don't, if you throw in the Green New Deal on top of that, you're talking tens of trillions of dollars. And you're cutting off the capacity of Americans to get working capital for the purposes of investment when you've got government expanding at that rate. It's just a simple fact. You can't expand government the way that's proposed under the tax plan and under the policies of the of their plan uh, relative to spending programs and expect you're not going to crowd out private sector activity. And that's where jobs are created. That's where protect productivity comes from. Deval, Judd is obviously referring to Bernie you Sanders know, and AOC, funny. who both spoke in the first couple of days of, of this convention. How, how do you take it and go from that to kind of shifting it more towards the centrist view to try and appeal to more independents? Well, first of all, I think uh, I, I want to I want to express my respect for uh, for Senator Gregg uh, as well. And I think um, uh, with that respect, I would say it's, I think it's time for the Republican Party to get some new talking points. You know, historically, uh, economic growth has been greater under Democratic leadership than under Republican leadership. Democrats understand and Joe Biden understands that the private sector is the main source of jobs is the place where most people and through which most people house themselves and entertain themselves uh, and uh, and make their way in the world. But we have a uh, an economy that is broken right now. It has been growing, but growing up rather than out to the marginalized and the uh, uh, and the excluded. And that is what we have to restore if we want to create economic mobility. And that requires investment. Now, on taxes, I will say, first of all, um, I may be one of the few Democrats who thinks that on the business side, uh, the tax cut was directionally correct. I think it went further. Indeed, it went further than the business community wanted, uh, wanted it to go. But we didn't finish the work because we cut the taxes and kept the loopholes. So if the idea is to make the rate competitive, then let's eliminate the loopholes which were argued for in each of their cases as a way to make the, those particular industries more competitive. And then on the pri on the uh, personal side, we can have a radically simplified uh, tax code uh, that is progressive and that actually uh, addresses the needs that our civilization has and that people who get those tax cuts also say we need, like a modern infrastructure, like bro broadband that reaches every household, every school, every uh, hospital, uh, like uh, uh, high-speed trains, like a, a, uh, uh, an investment in making our, uh, our um, uh, energy system much, much more efficient and ultimately carbon free. We can do those things. We did, did them in Massachusetts um, and uh, was one of the ways, frankly, that by investing in the green economy, we came out of recession faster than most other states and at a 25 year high. So these are false choices we've been hearing for a long time. I think from the other side, if you look historically and if you look at the plan, the Democrats and under Joe Biden, I think, have the right direction for America.